Today's English word is equivalent, equivalent. Now, as you listen to the story, see if you can guess the meaning of the word equivalent. It was about 7:30 in the morning when the two boys ran down the stairs looking for their mother. Their mother had been in the kitchen for the last hour making their breakfast. And during that time, she could hear the boys upstairs arguing about something. And now they needed her opinion. When the boys finally got to their mother, the eldest boy said, mom, here's the deal. I'm trying to tell him that this is eight ounces and he held something in front of his mother. When she turned to look at what he was holding, she realized that he was holding a cup and she said, yes, baby, that is eight ounces. And the eldest brother said, see, I told you. And then the younger brother said, mom, but wait a minute. I learned in school that this is a cup. She said, yes, it's a cup. He said, no, mommy, I'm talking about the measurement. Like you're making pancakes for us. So you have to use a cup of flour. She said, yes, I do. And then the eldest brother said, wait a minute, mom, but you just told me this is eight ounces. She said, boys, I need you both to calm down. Eight ounces is equivalent to a cup. And there was silence. The eldest brother said, wait a minute, mom, can you say that one more time? She said, honey, eight ounces is equivalent to a cup. They're the same thing. Eight ounces is the same amount as a cup. So once again, boys, eight ounces is equivalent to a cup. The boys looked at each other and then they looked back at their mother and they said, in unison. Thanks mom. And they both ran back upstairs. The mother said, ah, this is what it's like being a mom. <laughs> Did you guess the meaning of the word equivalent? Let me tell you the word equivalent literally just is equal. It just means equal equivalent is a synonym for the word equal. Like the mother said in the story, eight ounces, equals a cup, the same amount. Now this word is also a bit long. So I want to break down one portion of this word to help you pronounce it properly. Again, equivalent. What I want to help you with is the V sound. So I want to focus on the letter V, the letter V. Now, sometimes the letter V can be tricky for English learners, but not for you after this lesson. In order for you to make the sound properly, you need to first put your teeth on your bottom lip, your front teeth on your bottom lip. Good. And then you are going to vibrate. So after me, excellent again, great job. Now let's say the entire word, say it after me equivalent. Excellent. One last time. Equivalent. Great job. So now you know how to pronounce the word properly and you understand the meaning of the word. Now here's an example sentence using this word. What is the equivalent of this sum? Very simple, right? One more time. What is the equivalent of this sum? Now I want you to try to use this word at least one time today, and I'll talk to you in the next lesson.